Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 97 of Direwolf20's Modern Skyblock 3 series. I am making large amounts of dark matter, theoretically. Yay, dark matter. Times 10, hooray! Before I finish, I want to make four of these dudes, if I may. Cool. Uh, and I would like some crafting units. You know how to make these? Yeah, I do. Nice. Good job, me. Good job, me, with the auto. Sweet. Um, so between episodes, I bred up a couple types of chickens um, that we needed a lot of resources for. Soul sand, not as much, but I figured, eh, we could use some soul sand just, just for um, the fact that it's hardish to get. It's kind of annoying to get outside of chickens, right? Isn't it, like, annoying-ish to get? Well, though, to be fair, we do have um, some some weather dust now, but it's not super easy to get outside of chickens, I don't think. Um, it's not terrible, but I figured, eh, might as well. Uh, so they were quick and easy to breed up. Uh, and then the logs. So look how fast, we're getting three wood per iteration here, and it takes about a second, maybe even less than a second, um, to produce wood. So I've produced far and away a decent amount of wood. Um, you know, just, just it's, it's killing it, it's doing a great job. Uh, so 16, which is the max stack size for chickens, uh, of 10, 10, 10 wood chickens. And it's just, it's just doing a great old job. I'm loving it. Um, meanwhile, I was running into, like, not enough crafting unit type things. So I just told it to make four 64K uh, storage components, which will be used uh, to make a 64K crafting storage. Um, and we're going to replace these four with it. So that's kind of the plan. So we'll see, you know, if I actually pull that off or not. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I should be able to make this a little bit easier too, but yeah, we'll be cool. Um, I'm just waiting for that all to finish. So you're doing what? You're doing that? Cool. So we've got this guy in process and you are also in process. You are scheduled away and you're doing all the things. Neat. Once that's all done, I will get um, hopefully 20 more. Are you... I think you make redstone, right? Yeah. Sweet. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. So lots of this being made. Lots of all the things being made. Which is cool. Okay. So we'll let that all cook. Uh, today, my plan is to get, well, 20 more of these so that we can go to... The end. That's where we're headed. So if we take a look at the quest chapters we've got here, the end. Uh, so we're also going to need a few more things. So while that's cooking, 16 dark matter blocks. Hold on, I didn't see that part. End portal core. Like, that needs three dark matter blocks, and I thought that was expensive. But 16 of these? Are you kidding me? That's 144 dark matter. Making 30 was proving to be a bit of a challenge. And I need to make 144 more? Hold your horses. Do we have any of this cake stuff? Uh. What? What? 16 dark matter blocks? What? Everything else reasonable. I missed this last episode. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's not the end of the pack. That much I know. That much I know. Uh, that's a ridiculous amount of dark matter. Uh, end portal core. Uh, end portal core. Um, yeah. I, I, need, I need more. Need more information on how to use that for that matter. Uh, what's that hotkey for sky resources? Uh, there was a hotkey for sky resources. Numpad seven is where I put that. Hey there. Uh, how do we get to the end? I'm assuming this is a sky resources process. The end. Wow, we do need 16 dark matter blocks. 
To use the portal, oh hello. Stand on the core and give the end portal core at least 16 eye of ender and a redstone pulse. That's cool looking, but I still hate that we need that much. That's awful. You're a monster. 16 blocks of dark matter? The end improved, huh? The improved end portal adds on to the multi structure so the following are additionally needed. This improved portal costs no ender eyes for teleportation and stops the evil invaders from annoying you. Fair enough. That's kind of cool-ish. But I don't like anything about it. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a super lot. Well, uh, hello there. How's it going? Nice to meet you, ridiculous crafting recipe. I guess we need 144 plus the 20. So we need like 164 more dark matter. I'm glad that I made that wood be, or that wood chicken, because that, I don't even know if we have enough wood for that much, to be fair. Just to be clear, right, if I wanted 164 dark matter, calculating it's like how much do you want i know i know uh we're gonna need more lead we're going to need more tungsten steel ingots um and we're gonna need more wood otherwise we actually do have everything else that we need it'll take a really long time to craft um but it's doable so lead and tungsten steel um i believe we've got some more of this hot stuff and i can make more of it um, cause that is just, uh, tungsten and steel. So that shouldn't be too bad of a crafting operation over here. You should cook up pretty quickly. Hooray! That thing finished. So we're actually super close to having our 64k. Um, dudes, let's go ahead and make those while we're waiting. 64k. I'd like to get those. Are you done auto crafting this steel yet? I don't want to break this until the auto crafting is done. Yeah, I know. Which one is actually doing it? This guy? Yeah. So I can break these two. You're probably not doing a whole heck of a lot. And you should be done in a moment. Yay. Now we've got that many, which is cool. Oh, I also made another one of these because I foresaw that we were getting a bit low on storage here. And as usual, we've definitely run more into um, having, you know, the number of types be filled out, which is the orange color, than the red color. So, not a big deal there. All right, so how are we for steel? Let's actually get some more tungsten as well. I'll get a lot of hot tungsten steel. At this point, I'm debating whether I want like the industrial blast furnace thing, like the cooler. Um, you should probably have some kind of ender chest to dump into would be super smart. I don't know if I want to like auto craft this, but we'll consider it. I don't have any idea what's involved. Did I make a vacuum freezer? There's some kind of freezer. Yeah, that's called the vacuum freezer. I thought I made one of these at some point. I almost could have sworn I made one of these at some point. But I must not have. I think it needs a multi-block, though. Which is a bummer. Bummer, bummer. For sure. But we're going to need a healthy bit more hot tungsten steel. Turned into cool tungsten steel. So I can cool this off. That's this stuff, right? So I can either, there's chickens that can make it, which is kind of cool, uh, but I bet they take a lot of breeding. Uh, I can do fluid transposer of a little bit of jello cryothium or vacuum freezer.
at this point, I'm a little bit curious what's involved in the vacuum freezer. Because uh, at least the vacuum freezer doesn't need... So what do I need to get going here? I need an extractor. Let's get some of these. So vacuum freezer and a second extractor, right? Cool. And then just some steel plates. Oh, that's compressed steel. Where's my compressor? Sweet. So what would be involved in making you? Hello. Where's my wrench? Oh, hello. That doesn't look so bad. Um, what are those guys? Uh, not environmental tech. I think they're reinforced machine casings. They could be. That looks like a reinforced machine casing, right? Multi-block complete? Yeah, I guess so. And if we got, you know, a reasonable amount of overclocker upgrades, which I could probably steal from somewhere like you, because I've kind of stopped doing you. So part of me wants to uh, move this thing now that I understand what the multi-block looks like. Uh, we could just do... Don't want to run into this thing. Well, do you have... You don't. So theoretically, I should be able to do this without... Happy? Looks like he's happy. Uh, and then we could have energy coming in here. Do we have energy down here somewhere? Yeah, of course we do. The only problem is, is you're a little compact. Where's this? I know it's a little dire wiry but it should get the job done. So if I throw you in there, how quick do you cool off? Oh, that's super good. Yeah, that's worth doing. That's 100% worth doing. Okay, I'm down with that. That is super duper 100% worth it. Okay, that's cool. Nice, all right, so that'll get me a lot of the tungsten steel that I need. So dark matter. Like, if I asked for 100, do we even have, like, the resources for that? Mm, we're close. We definitely need more lead, uh, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I can get that cooking within the realms of easiness. What's your beef, stranger? Oh, you need more of that stuff. You know what I should do? Is I should get that, like, cool stuff. Cordis. Because that gives you just, like, so many more resources. What are you cooking up, by the way? Iron? I think we're cool on iron, buddy. Do we got lead in here? I think not. Lead alchemical. I mean, to be fair, we have lead, like, stuff, but one piece of clay and two blaze. I mean, I could just process the lead that we have, but that's not going to get me the large amounts that I'm going to need. Is it a problem if I have multiple stacks in there? What I'm going to do is that. 
and that should be fine. That stuff's easy enough to get. All right. I mean, I don't feel like I need any more speed because speed would then just be limited by that thing. And efficiency, I don't think I need any more of either. So I don't think I'm gonna bother with like the dark matter condensers and all that, all that jazz. So you can go away. All right, cool. So I think this gets me pretty close to what I need to have happen. You're making soul sand for me. You're making tons of wood for me. Super fast and super useful. Should probably light some stuff up around here. Yeah, the vacuum freezer was totally worth making. Okay. Um, with that said, are you cool now, short of wood, to make a hundred of that? Yeah, just a bit more wood and a little bit more lead, which is in progress, right? 162, 163, yeah. So what if I wanted 50 dark matter? Do you have enough for that? You do, and that's like auto-craftable as we speak. So I think I'll kick this off. And we'll be back in a few minutes because that, my friends, is a lot of crafting to happen. Mostly, our biggest slowdown is going to be this guy, right? Making all the charcoal. Now, I did upgrade you such that 64 charcoal is made with 64 oak wood. So I was hoping you'd drop 64 wood in at a time, but you don't seem to be. Which is irritating me a little bit. Alright guys, I did a thing. Uh, I am tired of waiting. I am an impatient person. Uh, and and there we have reached a point in this pack where there's a lot of waiting going on. Just a bit. Just a bit of waiting happening. And I want to speed that up. And traditionally when we reach a point where we want to speed up the operation of things, uh, there's a thing that we do. And this pack didn't have that thing available. So I went out and got the mod that I need to make that a possibility. So first I have to kill another wither because I need two nether stars. So to be fair, I wouldn't have had access to this tool until now anyway, uh, because I need two nether stars to make this tool. Hooray. So I got myself that and I got myself that, 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 that. sweet. So what I'm gonna make is this guy. Booyah, acceleration wand. That's what's up. So I think by default it's that. So you guys might have seen in, in my stone block series, I've used acceleration wands to help speed this thing up a little bit. Oh, you're set to use experience. Yeah, I totally don't want using. I mean, I guess you could use experience, right? I'm okay with that. Um, normally I would have you using RF. I'll probably just change that config option between episodes. Hooray for that. So I've decided to make coal chickens. So this just makes it so I don't have to sit here and watch a UI bar move from the left side of the screen to the right. I figure you guys will forgive me for doing this. So that should be pretty close to a 10, 10, 10 chicken now. Sweet. Because I decided I need more chickens. 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, we need more coal, right? Ultimately, that's what we need. So um, why wait for wood to turn into charcoal to turn into coal when I could just make a coal chicken. Does that seem like a reasonable question? It should. And I asked myself that question, and then I came up with the answer. Uh, so now we have a coal chicken times 16, which is making a healthy bit of coal for us. So how's that work? I think it works rather well. Are you still processing? Because I totally like logged out while you were in the middle of working, and hopefully you are not annoyed at me about that. You're a little bit annoyed about that, I guess. Looks like you restarted, you started working on something else. And maybe you'll get back to the whole coal thing. 
But in theory, we should be getting a lot of coal now. Also, I threw a bunch of coal blocks into here, uh, which is producing large amounts of coal as well, right? So we've got coal coming in multiple fronts because uh, that's really our limitation right now. We're limited by coal. Everything else we have plenty of, right? Coal is where we're a little bit stuck. So let's uh, let this operation cook. I guess you're doing Enderium right now. I want to make sure the coal, the charcoal thing starts up back up again. It should in theory. Um, so you're waiting for two more buckets of resident ender, then you're gonna cook up a bunch of refined obsidian ingots, which is cool. Um, yeah, you're doing a good job, buddy. I should put like one of those things that let them multi, like work on two things at once. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Those things, crafting coprocessors. with engineering processors. I think that's accurate, right? That'll let it do two things at once, I think. Because right now, like, it's not processing wood into charcoal because it's processing refined obsidian. So it's like, I'm busy with other stuff, don't bother me. Coprocessors, I think, make that so that it works. We'll find out. And if this thing's gummed up, I can just cancel the processor and re-request the craft. You seem to be a little bit stuck, so I'm gonna cancel you for a minute. And hopefully you're not too much of a request. Nice, and then you're gonna cook up, right? Yeah. Now everybody can do three operations at once, I think. If I uh, multi-block this properly. Now you have to be, all right, so yeah, maybe I should just do this and this and that. And that should be cool. Because I am good at art, not. All right, so that's done there. And I think, we can now request some more dark matter. That is such a stupid amount of dark matter though, if I'm being honest. So let's request 50 more. So you're gonna process a lot of stuff. So we have 2,000 available, we're gonna cook up 8,000 more. Just out of curiosity, what would be involved if I went over here and Acceleration wanded this dude? I mean, that works. It's a good way to get lots of coal, that's for sure. I mean, still not quite enough, but yeah, let's get 50 more dark matter. And I guess what I'll do is just off camera, just be a little bit patient and we'll be back in a few minutes when we can get more dark matter. There's an old saying, why build one of something when you can build two for twice the price? So <laughs> this was uh, my logs and my soul sand. I've got a decent amount of soul sand at this point, almost 3,000. So I've got two sets of cold chickens cooking. Uh, we're still auto crafting the first set of 50 dark matter uh, that I requested. Um, and it's, it's, it's we're, we're waiting on the last bits of the charcoal from that. Um, now, ideally we've got close to enough coal that we can craft a majority of that charcoal rather quickly. Um, so I think the next 50 that we make shouldn't be too bad, but it'll probably use a lot of my coal. Um, but that's okay, because the chickens are doing their job. They're making lots and lots of coal for us, actually rather quickly. It's kind of comical how fast that's happening. And this thing is still cooking up his coal as well. I basically threw a whole bunch of coal ore in here, like I did this. I went do 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 Coal ore, probably be smarter. Now that I have so much pulverized coal, Because this is coming in from my, uh, whatchamacallit, as you may recall, environmental tech guy. So there we go. Cool. And he'll do his job just nicely. Uh, we are at, still waiting on another thousand or so charcoal, which is whew, taking its time. 
if I wanted to speed things up, I could come over here and do that. Oh, you're getting low on power. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Though it shouldn't, because I would expect... To be fair, I know that I need to install some upgrades on those things, but you should have like lots and lots of RF that you're distributing, theoretically, throughout the whole base. So why are you having troubles, Chief? I mean, I get that you're low, but I thought that this thing was configured to output power. And I'm questioning if it is. I'm thinking it may not be. I mean, I could sleep through the night, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Weird. I totally thought I had this guy set to extract power properly, but he's only outputting zero, it says. Input is 12.8. Output is zero? Does that make any sense? Could have sworn I had you. Hello. Properly configured at some point. Like, I think... Output. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, input or output, and it was already set for output. Huh. Maybe you just need, like, better... Because, I mean, it is only, like, this tier, right? So that makes kind of sense. I know, I should do the thing that, like, makes it so this thing uses less power. I know they use a stupid amount of power without it. Energy upgrades? Yeah, you. Pulverized gold, huh? Do we have enough of that that it's cool? Eh, we can probably make a little bit more. Do you know how to make pulverized gold? You don't. So let's just say that one gold equals one pulverized gold. Just because I know it's going to come up. So you can go over there. And you can come over here. Make a bunch. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel you. So that you can craft nice and quickly. And you're going to craft. And theoretically, you're going to craft. Because a lot of people have commented that I should have done this a while ago. And I get it. I'm working on it. that should increase or decrease the amount of energy being used here. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty silly. <laughs> cool. Does that make everybody happy now? Because I know that this was a point of contention for many a YouTube commenter. I did the thing. cool now all right so how are we on coal and dark matter so dark matter we've got more than a stack so we're getting close we just need to ramp this up a little bit more so if i asked for another 50 dark matter how would we be we only need 575 wood for that so that's pretty cool do it do it up so this shouldn't be a bad craft theoretically You'll take care of all your pulverized lead stuff. You'll do some of this. Not too bad. A little bit of charcoal to coal. Also not too bad. Now you're doing your ender pearl stuff. Nice. 
All right, so I think we've sufficiently ramped up our coal production and everything else that we need for dark matter. What I'll do is between episodes, make a sufficient amount of dark matter such that we have enough to go to the end. Next episode, we'll go to the end. Probably kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, probably gonna need a bow and arrow, but I think I have one of those somewhere, don't I? Don't really having a bow is nice for those things. Yeah, we got this guy, right? Or we've got the other one. This one's pretty good. Oh, that's neat. Sounds pretty good. But we also have like the flux one, right? We've got a fluxed bow. Yeah, flux infused bow. That's probably the one we'll use. Because remember, this one's nice, but I don't know. Levitating and poisoning those orb things that the dragon thing. Eh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Not saying it would crash, just saying you never know. So we'll hold off on using that. We'll use this guy uh, next episode to kill the Ender Dragon. So you are doing a good job, right? Wow, yeah, you're actually doing a really good job. You're going to make a lot of blocks of coal for me. Yay. Wow, that's just such a stupid amount of coal. Luckily, though, chickens make that not impossible. Not impossible. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take oh, by the way, before we say take it easy. Oh yeah, we're getting close to enough palladium. I made my six palladium blocks, and we're getting there. Take it easy.